This is a LibriVox.org recording by Tim Sherman Chase. This recording is in the public domain. Thus Spake Zarathustra by Friedrich Nietzsche Translated by Thomas Common Part 3, Chapter 59 The Second Dance Song 1. Into thine eyes gazed I lately, O life! Gold saw I gleam in thy night eyes, my heart stood still with delight. A gold bark saw I gleam on darkened waters, a sinking, drinking, reblinking, golden swing bark. At my dance frantic foot doth thou cast a glance, a laughing, questioning, melting, thrown glance. Twice only movest thou rattle with thy little hand. Then did my feet swing with dance fury. My heels reared aloft, my toes they hearkened. Thee they would know, hath not the dancer his ear in his toe? Into thee did I spring, thou fledst thou back from my bound and towards me waving thy fleeing, flying tresses around. Away from thee did I spring, and from thy snaky tresses, then stood thou there half turned, and in thine eye caresses. With crooked glances dost thou teach me crooked courses, on crooked courses learn my feet crafty fancies. I fear thee near, I love thee far, thy flight allureth me, thy seeking secureth me, I suffer, but for thee what would I not gladly bear? For thee, whose coldness inflameth, whose hatred misleadeth, whose flight enchaineth, whose mockery pleadeth. Who would not hate thee, thou great bindress, in windress, temptress, secress, fine dress? Who would not love thee, thou innocent, impatient, wind-swift, child-eyed sinner? Whither pullest thou me now, thou paragon and tomboy? And now foolest thou my fleeing, thou sweet romp dost annoy? I dance after thee, I follow even faint traces lonely. Where art thou? Give me thy hand, or thy finger only. Here are caves and thickets, we shall go astray, halt, stand still. Seest thou not owls and bats in the fluttering fray? Thou bat, thou owl, wouldst thou play me foul? Where are we? From the dogs hast thou learned thus to bark and howl. Thou gnashest on me sweetly, with little white teeth, thine evil eye shooteth out upon me thy curly little mane from underneath. This is thy dance over stock and stone. I am the hunter. Wilt thou be my hound, or my chamois anon? Now beside me, and quickly, wickedly springing, now up, and over, alas, have I fallen over myself, over swinging. Oh, see me lying, thou arrogant one, and imploring grace. Gladly would I walk with thee, in some lovelier place, in the paths of love, through bushes variegated, quiet, trim, or there along the lake, where gold fishes dance and swim. Art thou now weary? There above are sheep and sunset strips. Is it not sweet to sleep the shepherd pipes? Thou art so very weary? I carry thee thither. Let just thine arm sink. And art thou thirsty, I should have something, But thy mouth would not like it to drink. Oh, that cursed, nimble, supple serpent and lurking witch, Where art thou gone? But in my face do I feel through thy hand Two spots and red blotches of itch. I am verily weary of it, Ever thy sheepish shepherd to be, Thou witch, if I have hitherto sung unto thee, now shalt thou cry unto me. To the rhythm of my whip shalt thou dance and cry. 
I forget not my whip, not I. 2. Then did life answer me thus, and thereby kept her fine ears closed. O Zarathustra, crack not so terribly with thy whip. Thou knowest surely that noise killeth thought. And just now there came to me such delicate thoughts. We are both of us genuine ne'er-do-wells and ne'er-do-ills. Beyond good and evil found we are our island and our green meadow, we two alone. Therefore must we be friendly to each other. And even should we not love each other from the bottom of our hearts, must we then have a grudge against each other if we do not love each other perfectly? And that I am friendly to thee, and often too friendly, that knowest thou. And the reason that I am envious of thy wisdom, ah, this mad old fool wisdom, if thy wisdom should one day run away from thee, ah, then also would my love run away from thee quickly. Thereupon did life look thoughtfully behind and around, and said softly, O Zarathustra, thou art not faithful enough to me. Thou lovest me not nearly so much as thou sayest. I know thou thinkest of soon leaving me. There is an old heavy, heavy booming clock, it boometh by night up to thy cave. When thou hearest this clock strike the hours at midnight, then thinkest thou between one and twelve thereon. Thou thinkest thereon, O Zarathustra, I know it, of soon leaving me. Yea, answered I, hesitatingly, but thou knowest it also. And I said something into her ear, in amongst her confused yellow foolish tresses. Thou knowest that, O Zarathustra? That knoweth no one. And we gazed at each other, and looked at the green meadow o'er which the cool evening was just passing, and we wept together. Then, however, was life dearer unto me, than all my wisdom had ever been. Thus spake Zarathustra. 3. 1. O man, take heed. 2. What saith deep midnight's voice indeed? 3. I slept my sleep. 4. From the deepest dream I woke and plead. 5. The world is deep, six, and deeper than the day could read, seven, deep is its woe, eight, joy, deeper still than grief can be, nine, woe saith, hence go, ten, but all joys want eternity, eleven, want deep, profound, Eternity. Twelve. End of part three, chapter fifty nine, the second dance song.